a little glitch in the stock market last month, but it's still up, I guess, around 30 percent from the time I got elected. And it's, it's going to go up once we settle trade issues. And once a couple of other things happen, it's going to go up. It's got a long way to go, tremendous amount to go. President Trump calling last month's big sell-off a glitch. The president says once trade deals land, things will begin to settle down. But is this true, especially as China's weakening economy continues to rattle markets? What do you think? David, I, I, I think it is. I think there's going to be a, a trade deal done, and here's why. First of all, before we hit the panic button on China, remember this economy is still growing at over 6 percent per year. We're doing gangbusters and we're about three and a half percent. So let's not think of China as, you know, about to enter the Great uh, Depression of uh, like we had in the in the 20s. Second of all, we are about our, their exports are about 20 percent of their economy. We were about 20 percent of those exports. So we're about four percent of their economy. Why is China going to do a deal? It'd be akin to if, you, if someone came to the U.S. and say, we're closing down the auto industry. No. That's how big a part we are of their economy. There's going to get a deal done. It's in everyone's best interest. Trump has to look good. China has to look good. I think it's going to get worked out probably in the next few weeks. I certainly hope there's a deal that gets done. I'm not as optimistic as Gary, um, but maybe I'm just cynical that we've been hearing about a deal for a lifetime and there hasn't been one yet. I think intellectual property is still the, the problem that we can't overcome that easily. That being said, I would also respectfully disagree with the president that the market downturns a glitch. Uh, it's down for the year 7 percent. Uh, if you annualize his 30 percent, that means he's at 15 percent per year for the last two years. That would put him you know, way below Clinton and Obama. So I would not say that things are glitched. That's a big market move. <laughs> I, I think that uh, I'm not as optimistic as Gary about an immediate deal on China because I think the representatives from the United States, like Lighthizer, uh, really think we have China in a corner. And I think they feel that this is an excellent time with their manufacturing sector showing signs of slowing down, workers not getting paid in China, increased unrest, some uh, pushback against President Xi by his own cabinet uh, in recent weeks. Th these are things that no one expected to happen. He can't allow it to happen. This is the time to go for the jugular, excuse the expression, and I think that's what they're going to do at this meeting. I don't. I think the market will not like it, but I think maybe hmm. there will be an extension of 60 days, maybe another 90 days where they continue to talk. I don't think there will be a deal right away. Yeah, but Liz, I, I think that's the reason that this deal will not get made because exactly. we believe we believe we're holding all the cards. China uh, thinks they're holding all the cards too. They, they they looked last year and they said that the U.S. is politically divided as they've ever seen it. You lose the midterms, or at least the uh, the, the House did to uh, uh, for the president. And China thinks that validates what they were thinking to begin with. They think they're coming this with a winning hand. We think we're coming to it with a winning hand. That doesn't give you much uh, wiggle room. Yeah. I don't think a deal necessarily gets done. But the Gary's B point, we're not falling off a cliff here. We're slowing down to about 2% GDP growth. That's still not bad. We're slowing down to about 7.8% is the estimate for corporate earnings from 23%. That's not falling off a cliff. A also, I would say, I would just say one thing about Gary B's point. I, I don't trust the 6% figure. I've never, I don't trust anything coming out of China. So they may be in negative territory. It's a possibility that they're in negative territory right now because you don't know. It's a communist country. The good thing is, and let's end on a positive note, if there is a trade deal, the whole world is going to be swamped with Chinese goods, cheap Chinese goods like we've never seen before, and that is going to be the death knell for inflation. That means uh, that the Fed won't have any interest in rising interest rates, right? But Dave, that's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario, what is that, a 10, 20 percent upside? The worst, yeah, case, worst scenario, case scenario is the is death of, of everybody. I mean, this yeah, is going to be the, the end of all economies. We, we've got real problems in this, in this globe. I, th I, I look on let the me, positive, though. Go quick, ahead. Quick last word. Quick, Quick rebuttal. I have never seen a group of negative Nellies in my life. <laughs> I gave you positive information. I gave you a positive outcome. Go ahead. Gary, Gary, Robert, thinks think we're in positive. Robert thinks we're in depression for crying out loud. No, no, and no, everyone no. else Gary, thinks the deal's never going to get Gary, done. You got to be, you know, the sun does come out at times. Gary, <laughs> one, I didn't think I said anything near depression, but I'll let you get that last laugh in if it makes you feel Thank good. Thank you. I appreciate Well, but, you but, really technically didn't let me get the last word. Quickly, but, quickly, but, quickly, uh, quickly. Listen, Steve Moore, you know, will tell you they were expecting five, six percent after the the tax yeah. cut. 
Now they're t now you guys are all talking. It's two still percent. a lot better than it was during it, the Obama that's administration. That's not accurate. But oh, it sure that, is in terms accurate. of economic that's growth, in terms of jobs. We have more jobs than ever before. But I no, have the last word, no, no. folks, because <laughs> we have run out of time.